Okay, what is this? You might be wondering. Um, hello, everybody. Um, Smitha here, and I guess I haven't really posted in nearly a month, so I feel like sharing something uh, today. Um, this, as you can see, is my new project, my game, new game project, and um. This is actually the same game engine as Froggles Adventure. It's basically just Froggle Plus, but I reworked everything. So for example, Froggle has a tongue that allows him to grab items. And whereas here, if you see this little robot, he can also grab item with uh, its hands. This is actually just changing Froggle's tongue to make it work vertically downwards. So why is this game exactly? Well, viewers, right in front of you, here's a few gizmos, a test room, and a little robot. Why is this robot, you might be asking? Well, it kind of looks like Rob, and um, also kind of looks like crap, so hence the intro, but Basically, um, I'm gonna showcase this gizmos and then just end the video. I'm not gonna reveal what this kind of game is yet, but I'm gonna have fun toying around with it. So, I'm gonna introduce this gizmos intri uh, one by one. Uh, there's, there's a few more that I haven't done, but I'm gonna talk about the ones that I have. So first of all, this one is the battery, it stores power, I can take the power and inject power into it, and that's about it. You can't really do much with it other than stack, stack them up. And uh, the second gizmo I added is the propeller. So what it does is it makes your jump incredibly bloaty compared to when you don't have the propeller, it also slows down your fall if you wanted to do that. So there's that. The third gizmo is the wagon and it doesn't have a direct functionality if you hold it, but if you stand on it, it will move around and drain its power. And it stops it stops if you duck on it. The fourth gizmo is what I call the tether orb. So if you throw it where it lands, you teleport to it basically. Please stop with this one, Tori. The next gizmo is the rocket. As you can see, I can point it a different direction. This is basically just a dash. And the power draining is exponential if you do it consecutively in mid-air. So there's that, and uh, if you're wondering, the Celeste Wave Dash also works, kind of. The final item I, that I have currently added, and also my favorite, is the yo-yo. I mean, how can you not like this? Let me get up here. This is the handle, and you can throw it out, and then swing it around like it's a yo-yo <laughs> which is awesome and then you can retract it so it's kind of like a grappling hook like man it all comes back to grappling hooks again you <laughs> always come back to it and hey you can even swing around like that so yeah that's why yo-yo is my favorite but anyway, I think that's enough for now for this video. I'm just here to showcase this little weird thing that I'm making. I'm still in the prototyping phase, but uh, the idea I have for you is very experimental, but I'm not gonna review it yet. Though I will say this, it can be made into a puzzle platformer very easily. So you can look forward to this. And for people who 
are expecting some kind of Frogo game soon. Just so you know, it's not gonna be in my main project for a while. Uh, I will work on a new Frogo game probably very sparingly. But uh, just like I said, uh, it's not gonna be a main project because I like to have some variety in the stuff that I work on. So yeah, that's about it for this video. And also, um, I do post project more. I do post uh, updates more frequently on Twitter. So if you haven't followed me on Twitter, you can do that. And yeah. That's about it for this video. Let me know what you think about this thing that you're seeing here. And I'll see you next time.